It's Court Harvey, 11 outside the Times Court Information Center. So, first of all, is it legal to have a contract that says you have automatic renewal unless the customer cancels? Yes, it is. The gym does that. Okay, but what if it's not in the contract? Can a business just simply do it without the customer's consent? No, with the agreement of, in the policy. So the, the customer has to agree? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we will find that out. We're going inside the courtroom. Do you have anything in your original contract that says, unless you come in and cancel affirmatively, we will renew your contract? No, ma'am. Oh, I bet you do now, cowboy, don't you? Because you can't do that. It's distasteful enough when you put that in a contract to have an automatic renewal clause. But if they're going to be stupid enough to sign such a thing, then they can't complain, hey, I didn't know I was supposed to show up there and cancel. I've had those kinds of cases here before me a hundred times. How dare you, however, tell her without that, because you're a smart guy, you know the contract didn't say that, all right? So if it didn't say that, you're, the entire premise here is, well, we automatically renewed it for renewed. That's why there's a magic marker over the 08 and putting it on the 09 as though she'd come in and, and, and approved another year, which she didn't. And unless you have that clause in there, you don't have a right to do it. So. You are suing for time lost from work, but you're not entitled to that, unfortunately. Like, if you were a brain surgeon, could you imagine your claim for $120 would become, you know. You are suing for certified mailing, you're going to get that. You are suing uh, for your small claims charges, you're going to get that. And you're suing for $120 for the four months you shouldn't have been charged, all right? You're going to pay that, and hopefully you are going to learn that things need to get responded to in a way that will contain a problem and not magnify it. $120 plus cost, verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. Well, here comes the defendant on the losing end of this one. Um, how are you going to memorialize this? Uh, well, you know... Uh, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Don't make it what it's not. All I can tell you is that uh, Miss Alberta had been a uh, client of ours for several years, and this is how it was done, and she knew that. Mm -hmm. but so you husband... took over the customer service there for obviously what we heard in the court is that like nothing got done before you took over, and um, think you've done a good job. Well, since May, I've tried to alleviate uh, some of the complaints. We have several. How about in this case? Did you do a good job in this case? I attempted to. I really did. I, I think that the Albertas are completely unreasonable, and it wasn't until her husband interceded so that your things job, went awry. So your job to keep customers? Absolutely. Okay. Head right down that way. Thank and you. Good luck. All right, step on in here, and um, what's your feeling about the verdict here? I feel like justice was served. I'm thankful that my husband's got my back and didn't let me get taken advantage by, uh, by mm -hmm. the Emerald Salon. Way to step in there, Shane. Now, what's the deal with the tan uh, in, in uh, Portland? You gotta, it can't happen naturally there? Or not what? so much, no. It doesn't. So what are you doing now for your tan? Uh, I'm not. Oh, you just gave up on that? Yeah, they again? left a bad taste in my mouth. I, I probably won't be doing that anymore. Right. Harry, what do you got? Okay, Kurt, very quickly, just to reinforce this, if a contract says, like this woman says, that uh, it's automatically renewable unless the, con the customer cancels, that is simply legal. And that will do for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.